Okay, what I got with me today, since uh, kind of on a roll with the nine mils, this is an Orenco NP17. It's a two-tone, nine millimeter. Uh, they call this chrome. I guess it's more of a brushed chrome. It's not a bad looking pistol. Uh, you can get them for about 200 bucks. Brand new. And uh, you get what you pay for, I'll tell you. The uh, front sight looks like it's either welded in or it's kind of, as you can see, a pretty crude setup. Had burrs on the side, I had to just very gently brush them off with a fine file. <laughs> it does mess up your sight picture not sure you're getting much of one with this thing and the rear sight as you can see is a real piece of work I filed into that because this thing was uh, shooting high so I can either uh, file down the front sight which you don't have any of really or uh, start going into the, the rear sight and it worked uh, I'm gonna look into trying to get some decent rear sight for this. I doubt the one's available. If you never know do you look. Uh, it's not a bad looking pistol. It's basically a 9mm TT33 Tokarev copy. Or uh, let's see, uh, China, Norinko has the, uh, they call it a T56 or 57, something like that. It's around there, T50 something. And I do have one of those, which I shoot instead of my uh, T33. My TT33 is a 1943, so I, I don't shoot it. I just uh, got it working good, oiled it up and tucked it away. But uh, this one's 9 mil, so I picked one up. It's got a, when it's got a different handle. It's got a more of a uh, slope to the handle. You'll notice that the TT33s just kind of go straight down. There's not much of an angle on them at all. So all, if you could actually put them on this gun, the same grips, it's uh, identical except they put this arch on the back. Uh, the other ones just kind of go inside. It's not too bad, but I find what it does do. This piece in the back that the other one doesn't have. You tend to get a little bit of hammer bite. Um, other than that, the grip's quite comfy. Um, it's a bit of a crude little unit, but again, for a couple hundred bucks, uh, can't really complain. So I won't. Uh, but you got one. It looks like they're packed in cosmoline, so you gotta strip them down, clean the goo out of them. So, Strange looking, almost looks like a bicycle link affair. Same as the Russian pistol. So I got her sighted in as best I can out here using a my little brass hammer and, and a file. Because <laughs> you you got no you got windage but you got no elevation on the rear sight. So what can you do? And it's as cold as a witch's tit today in October and it's in the first week in October, so we're gonna load her up. I think I got the sights within reason, and I'm gonna go at the uh, 25 and 50 yard. If my fingers don't drop off with the cold. I'll see what I can do with the 100 meter. Uh, see whether it's the pistol or the bullet that allows uh, 100 meter shots with these things for nine minutes. Now it's cold when even the camera's stiff. So there's the 25 meter. Stiff camera seems to make it swing a little bit. Where's that 50 at? There he is right behind him. There's the 50. As you can see, I already taped it up because I plugged the shit out of it already. I'm trying to get those sights to get those sights on a little better. Um, so they need a lot of work. Yet, even when I get home, I gotta take the uh, top of the rear sight down. It's got a huge castle <laughs> hanging over it. So I got 
two mags loaded up. I think I'll just start off with four into the 25 meter. And I think I'll zoom in a bit there. And I'll put four into the 50. At least I'll try. That's the theory anyway. It is cold and it's windy. It's two good uh, reasons to miss, or excuses anyway. Three anyway. I don't know if that one the top is two in the same hole or what. Really get mad at that wind. Any new ones? Looks like I got one in the left. Definitely got one in the left bar. Oh, there's another one under the deer's nose. Top left. I think. No, for sure. Yeah, I think it is. There's no uh, tape over that one. I only uh, put three into the 50, or 25, and I put two out of four into the. Uh, 50 meter, so I guess I want to do better. <laughs> of course, I'm not, I've, it's only the second time I've had this pistol out, so there's another good excuse for missing. So I'm going to go at the 50 again. So I did put one under the deer's nose. I got my scope out there to have a look. And I put a, another one in the left bar, so let's see how big up this time. about revolvers probably mentioned before you don't have to go on the uh, empty casing hunt so I'm going low now Let's see if we did anything to this guy one on the bottom bar one on the left behind the deer's head under Bambi there. Okay, getting better. Getting better. Getting colder too. And uh, probably shouldn't even be out here because I'm just trying to get over a rotten cold. Become quite the snot factory in the last two days.
please. I'll stick another clip into her. What the hell? Got two full magazines. Also use them up with a 50. by that. <laughs> I'll take that. Had seven left. Squirt them off. I think it's Time to go to the 100 meters. Got an idea where it needs to be. So 100 meters it is. We spend a lot of time on this one. Three, three or four on the bottom left. And one on the top. No bull's eyes today. Let me get another one down here. Got these glove liners. Tried to have a set of those in the truck. And uh, I can even pull the nails out with these on. Yeah. Work really, really well. I use them to fly RC airplanes. Just those blue liners you can get from all the fun shit on it. You can get from uh, Marks. They work pretty good. Fifty meters. I think he peppered the shit out of that pretty good. Seem to do better at longer ranges for some reason. Yeah. Lots of holes in the 50 meter target. Well, have to go over the 100 meter target and see what we can do. Yep. Ah, oh, man. Get pretty tired of cleaning up after people. Now, if you're too goddamn lazy to clean up after yourself, maybe you should just stay home. And, uh, or your mommy can pick up after you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't go get your targets either. Well, what can you do? What can you do? There you are, two fresh targets. 100 meters. I cleaned up after the little babies. I couldn't clean their own mess up. So I got all their mess cleaned up, so I can make one of my own. See how we may go. I got a feeling uh, the old Luger's got a lot on this one. I'm shooting at the right target.
See how that went. Hope everybody's buying their poppies. Support the poor buggers that are going overseas and the ones that aren't coming back. I see holes. certainly has better sights and uh, there's uh, some windage on the front sight and the elevation the loader's bang on but, uh, no real comparison I guess we'll go for the guy in the left the tall one six shots. <laughs> Problem with a semi, you just can't help it. Any holes? on the look. No, I missed. One hole in it. left looks like about it getting dark It's getting kind of dark out, so you figure get the camera at this angle. 
catch the muzzle flash maybe. The uh, targets are getting pretty hard to see. But, uh, they're down there so I might as well shoot at them. This uh, extra magazines is great. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get nothing with that. But you never know. Even turn out losing. It'll be sunset in about two minutes. I can't really tell. Can't keep it still either. Yeah, looks like I drilled a few in there. We should have. The sights are just so crappy on that pistol, it's not funny. <laughs> but still. Okay. It's still fun to shoot it. Uh, I'll mess around, try to get the sights a little better on it. Or even maybe get a, maybe a rear sight, adjustable rear sight. That'd be awesome. Not likely though. Get dark out, Bubba. Should be getting some nice muzzle flashes off this thing now. <laughs> yeah. Nine millimeters cheap, by the way. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna see anything with the camera, so I won't even bother. I'll look through the this glass I get there. Fun. Well, that's her. One uh, Norinco NP17 9mm. It's uh, basically a, a jazzed up Chinese TT33. Cheap and is fun. The sights are total and utter garbage. I'm going to have to do a little work in the front sight just to get it square <laughs> and uh, a little white dot in the back, a little bit of white paint on the back would help too. It does have a, a funky grip on it which is different than the uh, 33's and uh, it's actually not too bad. Um, I, I, I've, uh, didn't take long to get used to it at all. At first I thought it was a little weird but once I started shooting, 
it's not too bad. It's not a bad looking little pistol, the two tones are right. Again, I think it's a couple hundred bucks, you know. So you can't really expect the, the moon and the stars for two hundred dollars. And uh, you know, it's, uh, a couple of places in the Edmonton area handles them, and uh, of course the Mars Star, of course, has. But uh, I've heard people say that the converted, when they converted these pistols to nine mil, they didn't work very well. Hang up problems. Well, uh, I had absolutely no trouble shooting this gun uh, whatsoever. No hang-ups. It just, sh as far as function goes, it fired flawlessly the whole time. Um, no trouble with this thing at all. So, uh, you know, for the paid for it, uh, what the hell. It's, it's a fun little plinking gun. Uh, 100 meters, I guess. <laughs> That's a little ridiculous, I suppose, for a cheap pistol. But, I mean, I, I did so well at the Luger, I thought I'd try this. But I'm not done. I'll uh, get busy on those sights, see what happens. But there it is, Norinko NP-17 9mm. It is pretty dark. It's an old bear kicking around. So, I have an opportunity to see a 9mm due to a bear. <laughs> Yeah, better than nothing, I guess. Well, I got one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, six, seven. No way. Well, I don't know, do we count that one or not? <laughs> I don't know if the bullets are going low or high. I got a sneaky suspicion they're going high. There's the upright target. I have no luck at all with this guy. Got one, two, three hits. That's it. I'm starting to think the Luger is a superior firearm <laughs> to a Norinko Chinese 9mm. And what's quite amazing about the, that Luger is that, that that's quite a pistol, man. <laughs> that's quite a pistol. So I did pretty good on the 100 meter targets with the, the Luger. Thing is, I don't want to shoot that gun lots. Just, you know, maybe once a year take it out. Now that I got, got it all set up and working good. You know, once a year I'll maybe put a box for it. But the 9mm round has got me kind of fascinated, so we have to go to the gun shop tomorrow. See what's available for really good quality pistols. Hmm. That's what the wife thinks of the idea. <laughs> uh, actually, I got one more 9mm I gotta do. I gotta sight in my. Uh, my. Uh, P38. That's next. Maybe.